Last time on Let's Turn It Up World in Japan. When is the uh, the busiest time of year? For this? Uh, August, maybe. August. Because we have big summer festival. Ah. Uh, famous nationwide. It is called Nebuta Festival. Oh, the Nebuta Festival. So this is really interesting. You can actually touch a bit of it, a sample one here, and it shows you how it's made. Oh, they got some squid on there. What'd you get there? Asahi Super Dry oh, Beer. Wow. Most famous beer in Japan here. How is it? It tastes like beer. Oh. <laughs> see me you know why because it is so busy and so bustling but here I am here I am you see me now Woo! what's up you guys wow this is what we're gonna be dealing with for the next three days and nights here in Tokyo we're staying in the Shibuya neighborhood and we're gonna be staying at a place that's hmm, good or bad very interesting and unique to us as you could probably tell from the title it's a capsule hotel and it's uh the name millennial is in it so you know that's not there for myself but we are going to make this happen like the best of them and there's so much to explore and obviously we're going to get lost so you know what come get lost with us let's go all right so here we go you guys we got some instructions on how to get to our capsule hotel from one of the employees that sent a reel here. I, I, I'm gonna see if we can figure this out. It's kind of high speed walking. I think I know where we're gonna start, but I hope it's where we're gonna end up. So let's see if you can follow these directions. All right, Dave, let's go. <laughs> oh. oh. Can't forget the luggage. <laughs> two spots right here 12 and nine. we're gonna look across from each other should be really interesting so i think before we give a tour though there's a happy hour sort of vibe downstairs for like an hour it's called like beer clock or something so we should go downstairs and maybe check out the the lobby area this is very very honestly very different than rv life so swapping rv life for like a tiny capsule is kind of like like you're crazy. You crazy. No, you crazy. No, you're crazy. <laughs> I guess. I guess we're just crazy. Yeah, we're just crazy because we're feeling like we're the new millennial. All right, babes. I think we had some impeccable timing tonight. I know. I kind of got in, and apparently every night from five thirty to 6.30 or 17.30 to 18.30. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. They actually have free beer. Free beer and free snacks. Free beer, yeah, like free beer, free back. It's like a whole, it's a social thing. Oh right? yeah, exactly. So, uh, like a beer? I would love a beer, thank you very much.
It's very exciting. We just met the manager yeah. of the hotel. Oh, Hi, how are you? Very good. How are you? We're well, <laughs> thank you. So yeah. what is your name? Uh, Ryota. Ryota. Yes, nice Ryota to meet you. Ryota-san. Okay, I love it. So manager of the hotel. This is our first experience here at a Capsa Hotel. Here, here, Dave. Hold on. Yeah, I'm I got gonna it. I'm going to step in the picture. You step in there. I don't speak English well. Oh, uh, well, you're doing great. Hey, so thank you. tell us some of the, if you don't mind, just some of the real important highlights. Like, what's... What's the most fun about being in a capsule hotel? Most fun about being in a capsule mm -hmm. is actually communication with other guests. Oh. Okay? So like uh, simply saying, meeting new people, okay? so because as the older capsules are the individually staying, oh. so one by one. So, so this is more community-based, bringing people yes. together. Hence yes. why they have you guys, like Dave, what yes, we have to we do? We have the free beer. Come beer, by, by beer the way. Beer yeah. 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 Cheers <laughs> moment. <laughs> okay. mm. Because it allows you to bring mm -hmm. folks together yes. under one roof and just yes. communicate from all over the world. Yeah, it's That's happening every day, like you know, fam. So we have the free beer hours every day. So when people are coming down to the first floor and they get start a conversation with the other guests, and then like going to other bar with the some of the guests that they met, yeah, some other guests and new oh. people. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. So, how long has the millennial been open? Six years Six almost. Six years. Yes. So wow. we're gonna have a, like anniversary event next month. <gasps> yes. An anniversary next month. Yes. Wow. On March seventeenth. Oh, no, March sixteenth. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much for yes, having us. We're, we're very excited to kind of showcase the experience here for yeah, sure. Thank you very much too for yeah. coming yeah, hey, and filming the millennials. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey. How's your beer? It's good. Is it nice? Great. I think it's some Kieran. Looks yeah. like for, so, so that's true. I'm Kieran super is. excited. We're good already meeting like some wonderful folks yeah. here and a, maybe a spot for dinner, huh? Yeah, it's very social here. Very social. And there's a chicken restaurant that's called the Chicken Restaurant. We may actually go and get some chicken. <laughs> So stay Why? tuned. Because it's a chicken restaurant? Exactly. So I'll tell you one of the cool things about this is you can enjoy, this is Canon beer. It's a very tasty beer here. They have a beer tower which you see right here, which is super cute. But not everybody's kind of marking it down, but that's a cute little thing to have. Oh, so cool. Look at this. Start your engines. They're ready to rock. Start those engines. I've never seen this before. Little Mario Kart going on right here. I'm loving it. Look at this, so cute! All right, got some racers going on here. All right, in uh, right outside our capsule hotel. Pretty funny, very Japan-like. So we are headed right now because we're starving after those beers to a little spot that's supposed to be a recommended spot by one of our, I guess you would say, folks we met at the Millennium. So it's supposed to be really good. A little Japanese lady is gonna serve us some delicious food and it's all about the chicken here. So we're gonna try a place that's supposed to be all about the chicken and it's in a little alleyway like this. But you still feel really safe out in this alleyway. It's like it's a little alleyway but you feel, um, you definitely feel safe. So let's go check it out. It's all about the chicken. I guess what I forgot, ooh, flame on. Flame on. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to mention, it's a chicken restaurant, but it's also called Chicken Restaurant. Um, that is the name of it. It's it's known for its charcoal grilled chicken. They opened up in Shibuya in 2009, and they've operated in charcoal grilled chicken. And uh, I'm really excited to try it. it. Smells really good. And this is a menu that you have to kind of focus on a bit, because it looks like there's a multiple options. Choose two dishes, share with everyone, and if you get lost, there's more on the menu. I guess that's how it works. So it's really cute. So when they come to deliver your, you can pick whichever chopsticks holders you want to place your chopsticks on. A lot of variety in here, including a skateboard, which you see right there. And there is, a, I end up getting the tiger. And it looks like Dave got a guitar. Got a little guitar. A little guitar. There we go. Oh, you excited? That's right. Oh, I'm very excited. <laughs> All right. So just to kind of explain to you, I'm not sure I'm going to say the names correctly, but we ordered a half and half from the charcoal grill. We got the uh, oyadori, which is the older hen, longer period, three months, chewy, but tasty. And then we got the wakadori, 
which is the younger uh, of the chicken. It's supposed to be a shorter period of time, but tender, flavorful. So got with that a fushimi peppers, which seems to be really nice. And I ended up getting a Japanese radish and cucumber salad to pair with that. So it sounds like it's a really fun dish. And it's all, if you notice, one thing I love to see is the pictures where the grill is all coals, like just charcoal grilled. I know Dave really likes charcoal grilled stuff, so. Cause he's like the grill master, so. It's gonna be tasty, right? It's gonna be great. Ooh. This looks really good. Doesn't it, Dave? It does, yeah. So Japanese radish, cucumber salad, and then the fushimi peppers, which looks really good. I'm gonna try them with you. You're gonna like those. Like shishitos, huh? Yeah, they're very much like shishitos. Not spicy, sweet, delicious. You're gonna love it. And of course the salad, can't go wrong with that. Look at that. Look at that, huh? All right. Looks like a shishito. Hey. using the chops just like a pro? I ain't no pro. <laughs> it's good, I like it. Yeah. I wouldn't mind a little spice though, I gotta tell you. I like how the shishitos have, like some are spicy. Mm. This is very tasty though, very good. Smells good, right? It does. I love watching them cook it too. Should I give it a try? You should. Be careful. Should I dip a little some of this? Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. Mmm. That's some good chicken. Is it? You're gonna like it, babe. You're gonna dive in. I'm feeling it. Let's yeah. do it. All right, your turn, baby. All right. Dive right in. Ooh, it's like really hot. It's sizzling quite. Right, it's steaming. So. Get a couple of scallion onions on I there. I it's still cooking in the pan. I know. It's going to cook right in my mouth. That one was a little like chewing gum. I'm still going. Um, but they were absolutely right. Definitely a lot of flavor. The texture is very chewy. So I'm not 100% sure how I am with that particular one. I like the flavor for sure, but I have to get past that chewy texture. So. Just saying. So what'd you think of that one, Dave? Definitely, I don't know if chewy is the right word. It's kind of like when you're trying to like chew through like a fibrous tendon. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough, a lot of flavor, a lot of flavor, but it's definitely chewy. Fibrous. Fibrous tendon. Now that you exercised your jaw, I think it's time to try something else. Yes, so we are going to now uh, extend our palates to some duck. We're gonna have some duck, it was recommended. So uh, we'll try some duck next. Hopefully this will be tender and juicy because my jaw is done working out like at least a week. Woo! Oh wow, this looks amazing. Can you smell the great flavors from that? You saw him preparing it on the grill. It has that delicious char, sort of like that charcoal grill. Of course you have the wasabi, great sauce to go on top. Dave, I think you're really gonna love this one. All right, ready? I'm ready. Mm. Mm. That's excellent, babe. I love the, uh, just the charcoal, kind of grilled flavor that's in the duck. It's so good. Perfect blend of kind of a uh, saltiness too. You're gonna like it. You gotta dive in. To Time to eat. In. Let's do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For one month. So oh, oh, one oh month. Oh, uh, I am now definitely feeling like Betty Bye. Time for Betty. What a great experience, though. It was so much fun. Great service. Like kind of small family owned. Liked it. I agree. They serve breakfast seven thirty to nine thirty in the mornings. I think it's a 
is it a thousand yen? Mm -hmm. I think it's a thousand yen in the morning. Uh, it's a pretty good spread for breakfast. And it has a mix of kind of hot things. Like, of course, today you have the eggs it's and the sausage. sausage. Uh, <laughs> exactly. And then, uh, of course, you have like some yogurt items, croissants, like, like a granola, things yeah. like that. So, and of course, all the, the juices. And so. strong coffee. And strong coffee. Yeah. And a little bit of runny egg. Oh, that is. Mm -mm. Tastes good, though. Well, that's why you got a nice big plate for you. Not complaining. No, no, no. I'll just I'll, I'll hover over one of those sausages. Yeah. Mm -mm. You're joining me right now as we're walking across one of the busiest streets here in Tokyo, Shibuya. It's actually pretty famous. I mean, everyone has their phones, their cameras, their GoPros, 360s out trying to get that magic shot here in this spot. But you gotta move quickly, as you can see, because as soon as that crosswalk changes to red, well, you better watch out because the cars are not playing around here. So get that magic shot here on this famous crosswalk. It's amazing. Look at everyone here. You can kind of see everyone right here. Phones are out. 360s walking across the street. It's definitely one of those magical spots you want to uh, be seen on. All right, so we still need to find Dave now. I lost him. I think he's down by like the cute dog that's supposed to be based off of the uh, Richard Gere movie with the dog that was his best friend. And I forget the name of the movie, maybe you guys know. The dog's the best friend and he passed away and the dog kept showing up at the train station. So I think we're at that spot. Oh, yep, definitely at the spot. I found Dave. Yeah, exactly. Hey. Well, well, I knew where to find you. Yeah. Uh, I went in line. Went in line for that spot. Think everyone, everyone wants that photo spot. Oh, right yeah. The photo spot. Oh, the most loyal dog in the world. Gotta get the photo. You do. So we're, we're doing the uh, tourist thing here. We're gonna take a beautiful picture with this amazing dog, Hachi. Just like that. <laughs> So first up on the menu, y'all, we're gonna try some really tasty ramen. Now ramen for us has always been, I don't know, a sweet spot back at home in Vegas, but I'm sure it's nothing like what you get here. So Hakata is the region this ramen is from, which is like the southern part of Japan. A very unique style, but right now it's here, it's hot, and so right before we eat, we have to uh, say something special, is that correct? And yes. what we have to say is itadakimasu. Yes. Then start eating. And then start eating. <laughs> the soup is uh, made by uh, pork. Oh, pork soup. So Creamy this, milk broth. This. We've been to quite a few places. And of course, first coming here, I wasn't sure if the folklore of slurping is the way to go, but apparently it is definitely here and it's a respect to the chef if you do a little slurp. Is that correct? Slurpy slurp? Okay. Uh, let me show you. Okay. Make a noise? You, yeah, yeah, is that yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah no problem. Yes. I know in, in uh, Sapporo, uh, definitely, yeah. yeah. Especially when you make uh, soba, mm -hmm. they prefer to make a noise. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so what do you think? What's the verdict? Delicious. Isn't it Absolutely good? delicious. They're really good. Um, the texture, I love all the little, everything about it, from the scallions to the ginger, the, the pork broth. It's a light pork broth too. It's light, so when yeah. you, you look at it at first and think, okay, this is gonna be like a milk cream base, but no. The only thing missing for me, I'm a big fan of the chashu. So just a couple extra pieces would've been nice, but because it's a food tour, I'll let it slide. You'd go extra chashu for sure. Extra chashu. Oh yeah, I know you. <laughs> Well, that was a fun experience. Really small. Felt, felt like it was really almost a family-owned place. And we could never have too much ramen, no matter what kind. Love ramen. And this place was no exception. Definitely well worth trying out. So let me just mention a quick thank you to Arigato Tori for giving us this amazing food experience here in Tokyo. Now you're gonna meet our guide, plus two other folks that are joining us. Amazing Irish couple from the States. So let's go meet them and see what's on the menu for next. I'm good, I don't wanna go in there. <laughs> There's a real cage in there. That's a real cage? This is a real fight club. Oh, a real fight club. Yeah. Wow, it's a real fight club. Wow, that's amazing. 
A real fight club, Dave. Yeah, I know exactly. So I'm not quite ready, but when I'm done with my training, I'm yes. going in there. I think after the next That's right. Meal. That's right. We're going to film it <laughs> and you're going to see what Dave, I'm made of. He'd be in action. That's right. We're actually on our way today to check out a very interesting, I guess an art display. It almost reminds me of something very similar to Illumination in Las Vegas. It's called Team Labs, Planet Team Labs. There's something to that effect. Now there's two of them. The one that we tried to get this morning, which is the newer addition to that Team Labs family is sold out. And I'm talking sold out for like a week. So we're going to the OG one. Uh, so we're jumping in a tab, uh, a taxi cab. Right now it should be here about three minutes. As a matter of fact, let me tell you, you can actually use Uber here in Tokyo. So that's kind of what we're using right now. I think they team up with the, the uh, taxi cab companies. So it's either taxi cabs or Ubers. Um, and it's it's very handy and convenient. Now we would have taken the train, but we just don't want to miss the wrong, take the wrong line and end up missing this Team Labs experience. So we're headed there right now to give you guys an in, uh, a preview of what that's like. Hopefully let us film so you can see what that's like and don't have to hear me tell you about what that's like. Should be exciting, right there? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, the taxi was really quick and I guess I like them. It's super clean and it reminds me a bit of the style of the old London cabs. Yeah. Anything? Very, very easy. You're right. Easy, does look like the style of London cabs. Cozy, very clean. And very clean. Look at the old telephone booth over there. See, it has a lot of London inspiration. Exactly. Excited, we're in. It's gonna be fun, yeah, very cool. First up, you gotta take off your shoes. Which is very interesting. Dave is taking a picture of our locker so that we don't forget, forget it. where there's, we are. There's like, many lockers here, there's yeah. There's many lockers all lined up along yeah. here. But we found one available and we have a key. So and they say, roll your pants up, socks and shoes off. Got it, okay. Apparently going through some water. We're, okay, we have to roll that up. <laughs> we're rolling them up. I guess we're really gonna feel the experience here. Dave. Yes. We're heading into the water area and it is very dark, as you can see. But we have rolled up our pants. <laughs> and no socks and shoes. I'm walking on sunshine. Oh, it makes me feel good. So the first one, the water exhibit, we're kind of just walking through a little raging stream here. As we find it ahead. It is loud, there's a big crowd in here, you can hear the noise. What did you think of that first part? I thought it was nice. I feel like I have nice clean feet. Yeah, I think there's a system put in place here. They know everyone takes their shoes off at first. They're going to have to wash those feet. You gotta clean. Cross these elements here. Exactly. Clean your feet. Clean your feet. Just, just get them nice and clean. They don't want to insult anyone, so they put chlorine water. It's like a foot bath before you go to the rest of the experience without your shoes. Then if you need to dry your feet, have you dried your feet yet? Thank you. Gotta dry your feet. All right. Is that good? Very good. Thank you. All right. Wow. Right, See, I knew I married the right man. Just, just saying, you guys. Just saying. Oh, a little bouncy. Wow. Woo. Dave, you kind of come. It's a bit squishy. It's a little smushy walking. Smushy. Oh, just keep on walking. Ooh, it's really squishy. Just walking through the smushies. <laughs> See, I told you. They had a plan. Wash your feet first. Yeah, now it's the ultimate drying. Ultimate dryer. Oh, and it gets softer. Wow. Definitely a very popular place for photo taking in here. You can see probably very Instagram worthy shots in here. All around. Everyone, everyone's taking pictures. Oh my god, hello! Hi! Oh my god, hi! Hi, can I hug you? Hi! Hi, hello, can I hug you too? Hi, oh. what is your name? Uh, hi, I'm Glenn. This is Glenn! Yeah, hi. Okay, we, we are turning it up all over the world here, so we yeah, gotta turn up Will Sam over here. Yeah. Tell me. 
How do you know us? I watch your YouTube videos like all the time. <laughs> yeah. But now we're in Japan. Yeah, you're like not to do uh, videos. Exactly. And, all yeah. the, what you should just stay safe and have your uh, your 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 bed the running. Bed the bed test. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. Everything. Oh, it's oh, so awesome. Awesome. This is amazing. Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, Admittedly, we are lost right now. Lost. We're getting help from some of the folks working here to find the way out to the echo to the next part of this. Yeah. It's amazing though. It is really amazing. Wrong turns in every corner. Yes. Beautiful, nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> Warm and uh, a little muddy looking. Oh it's like a mud spot. Oh wow. Oh my God. This is amazing. You guys, we're inside of a living warm water tank here. It's huge. Wow. Like, like C3PO. 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 Get us out of here. They don't want it to be like bouncing uh, beach balls. Exactly. At no like a baseball balls. stadium. <laughs> it's amazing in here. All right, this is definitely one of the coolest exhibits. I love the fact that you can actually touch the giant beach balls, if you will, with all the various colors. It feels like we're in some sort of like cocoon. I don't know. This looks like maybe a salmon row. <laughs> Salmon run. We're, we're just a, we're part the, of the salmon row family. These are all the salmon here. eggs. We're all hanging out with salmon, salmon eggs. eggs. And they're red. The salmon eggs. See, th th here they come. Right there. I, I can't wait to see what's next. More feet, more feet washing. Maybe. Maybe more feet washing. Gotta keep the feet clean. Keep those feet clean, y'all. That's right. Very important to keep the feet clean when you're walking through this. I um, this is very cool. It moves a lot for me, so it makes me a little nauseous. <laughs> exactly. A little nauseous. Yeah, it's like the world is spinning. The world is spinning. The world is spinning. If we, if we have not been drinking. No, at all. It's like, it was <laughs> yeah, Exactly. I feel like I've had a couple of cases of sake already. Yeah. <laughs> We're in a dark moment. The peaceful, calm scene right before they hatch and devour everybody. Exactly. They're going to lay their uh, eggs right in our stomach. <laughs> and that's the end of the world as we know it. The smell the, the so smells amazing. incredible. It smells unbelievable. Like these here. real flowers is hanging down. We are immersed in the real flowers. We are. Look at that. This is amazing. The orchids, variations of orchids in here. But the smells of the rich, right. just, it's amazing. It's amazing. Now it'd be nice to feel like you're alone in a beautiful garden. You're in a beautiful garden, you are. but you're definitely not alone. You're not. No. <laughs> See, quite a few folks. So just outside of Team Lab Planets is a vegan ramen shop. It actually has some good ratings we're able to try, but they also offer an immersive experience. 
They do. So we're opting for the immersive experience, which I think is going to be kind of dark in the Ramen. What do you think? Uh, if it's anything like we just saw inside the Team Lab Planets, it's going to be quite immersive. I'm just hoping it's no moving flowers while I'm eating. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's not. Yeah, when you're slurping. Look pretty. When you're slurping the ramen. No, that just won't look pretty. But I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited about the ramen. I've never had vegan ramen. Right, before. it's vegan ramen. So you know, I usually get my little chashu and black garlic oil and pork fats and yum yum. So it's going to be really interesting to see what this dish has to offer, but I'm excited. Let's see if it gets a, a super Tanya and Dave dance afterwards. Exactly. We'll see. And let us know, have you guys tried vegan ramen? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. No meditation oil? Mm. So, it's an image of smell of Japanese temple. So relaxing, but... This is nice. It's like you're going to a spa. This is a very interesting ramen. Yeah, it's called immersive ramen. <laughs> Immersed in the dark, in the dark. A little bit of light, essential oils. It's quite the experience. <laughs> and we haven't received our ramen yet. So, Dave, what do you think of the presentation? I love it. I mean, yeah? It's well worth it. Really cool. It's like you're you're just dining, you're still in the museum. You know, yeah. There's the immersive. It's like an extension, experience. right? Yeah, why, why in at the museum? Just why, why not eat, yeah. eat in the museum. Exactly. Not eat in the museum, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that looks like a healthy bowl of ramen. It, it has a really nice smell to it. And I'm loving the, the broth. You know, if you can kind of see in the light here, it does have that, uh, like a milkier texture, almost like the curry broth like we had. Right. Up in, um, uh, where were we? Yomari. El Amore. Amore. Yeah. All right, we're shot. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's really good. Let me just try a little noodle, because I know Dave, you're going to love that. Mmm. You're gonna love it. I'm excited. <laughs> I just, I can't say anything more than that. I didn't expect it to have such a creamy, really, texture to it. The noodle's soft. It's like the perfect noodle. Look at that. And it just goes so well. Right in my mouth. It's very rich. It is. Yeah, it feels very rich. I can't wait for you to give that a shot. Oh, I'm gonna have my Fiji water. So everything's gonna serve on the perfect tray with lighting. Mm. Oh yeah, the flavor, I can already taste that flavor. Right? Oh, it's hot. That's wow. so good. And we're here by ourselves, we're yeah. now. Everybody got scared of us. Right? They all left us alone here in our immersive experience. A little private dining experience. A little private dining, okay, they wanted us to be alone. They wanted mm. us to just kind of immerse ourselves in this and just Alone together, slurping noodles. Slurp away. Let me hear you slurp, babe. Let me hear it. Oh my gosh. Chef, can you hear that? Mm. Chef, did you hear that slurp? Dave really appreciates that noodle watch. Bravo. Bravo. Mmm. <laughs> I've slurped more, but it's hot. <laughs> mm. It's hot. It's hot. And the vegetables taste really good. Like the broccoli, delicious. the mushroom, the tomatoes. Mmm. The roast tomatoes in there. Mm, cherry. Mm. Do you miss the chashu though? Do I miss the chashu? Yeah. Um, it's kind of weird to say this. I like chashu, but this is so rich and creamy. So rich. You don't even miss it yeah. right now. I know. But I will probably have a bowl of ramen later with some chashu. <laughs> <laughs> so we're once again back here for happy hour. <laughs> happy hour on the fourth floor here at the Millennial. And one of the things I like about happy hour is because beer tastes amazing when it's free. So it's free happy hour. And when you have free happy hour, no matter what happens with free happy hour, you meet new fun friends for free. <laughs> so this is Maggie, you guys. It's amazing. She's actually from Canada, Japanese, lots of family here, and loves the same place we love and spent a lot of time in Hokkaido. So will you introduce yourself to everybody? Oh. 
Okay, damn. Up oh, there, on the spot stuff. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Mackie. Hello. Like the sushi. Like the sushi. No, <laughs> it's not what it means, no, but <laughs> like the sushi. Yeah, just tell us how much you love Hakaya and us. Yes, so I met Tanya five minutes ago. <laughs> She's amazing. It kind of like, like hearing you talk, like it kind of inspires me to like travel more and like I want, like with my job, I can't really do that as much, but like it makes me think about like, oh, like there's other like ways to like see the world, see the world exactly. and like, Get so and I'm like having a midlife crisis. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Travel, midlife crisis. Yeah. It's a balance. Yeah. Eventually one will kind of move on. Usually it's the midlife crisis and travel. <laughs> <laughs> but no, thank yeah, you. It'll push me to like do more things, so. Exactly. Well, we hope to see you on the road. Yes, one day. One day, mm. I'll see you on the mm -hmm. road. <laughs> well, we know that she's in Canada, so we'll be hitting there yes. in the summertime, so yes. we'll keep you up to date. Come by. <laughs> You know, I honestly have to say, like being here feels definitely like a community. I can see the vibe of community happening, especially when you have like beer clock. It just brings everyone together in one smaller spot here. And I wasn't sure exactly what to expect coming into this place initially, but you're almost like the RV space. You're kind of forced into connecting and just a really great vibe here for sure. You know, meeting everyone and uh, having a couple of beers. But yeah, this communal spot here on the fourth floor is definitely a great spot to come enjoy when you are here at the Millennial. But I, I'm curious to see Next, now that I finished washing your dishes, which you have to wash your own dishes after a certain time, this is respect. Let's go check out the uh, workspace. Welcome to floor three. So on the third floor here, this is actually the working lounge. Also the meeting room, I think the lockers are located here. And it's where you can actually, come on through. Get some work done. It's locked, so evidently you may have to make a reservation for the meeting room. Oh, it's staff only. locker room area and I feel you need to talk. So I'm going to talk for your meetings. This is where you're going to have your conversations so you don't disturb any of the other guests in the other areas of the meeting room area. But I'll see you guys in a second. I have a phone call to take. I'm going to call Dan. So you're aware that this is the speeds here at this place. If you're using Wi-Fi, using their Wi-Fi, which is Millennial Guest, that's the speed. That's download. Whoa, raging. And here comes, look at that, and uploads. Whoa, oh, whoa. It's like turbo boost. Turbo boost. That's great speeds. Right out here is the terrace. It's a terrace smoking area. Oh, and it's snowing or raining. <laughs> Got some rain going on right now, but here is a, here's where you throw away your rubbish. And this is our terrace smoking area. If you need to get your smoke on. 
on the third floor here from the meeting room. So when you're stressed from all that work, you come outside for a smoke. <laughs> Before we actually check out our room area, let's check out some of the restroom areas. This is right behind us. Here's where you have your laundry, washer and dryer. That's the opposite of us. We have washer and dryer. It's a washer dryer. And it lets you know how much. So I think the washer's 300 yen and the dryer is 100 yen. Per cycle. There's three toilets here. When you open up the door on this particular toilet, how do I know that? Because I've used it a lot. Watch this. Come closer. The toilet just goes. Goes up. Right up. Then there's three on this floor that we're on, which is number eight. This is actually the co-ed floor. If you want more ladies, you want to be just by yourself with other women, I think that's floor number seven. But this is the co-ed floor for sure. So. Let's go check out the uh, showers. Oh, and you have to be very quiet out of respect, which is really part of the rules here. Now, because we're kind of uh, allowed to show you guys the experience here, we can be a little bit louder, but we still want to be respectful of other guests on this floor. Welcome to the co-ed shower room here, y'all. So there's three showers in here. There's one off to the right, there's one right in the middle, and there's one behind me. In my opinion, the middle one seems to be the best as I just looked in all three, and that one has a shelf. So ladies, if you have extra stuff coming on, that's where you can put it. So I'll show you what the showers look like. There's three stations in here. This is also co-ed neutral area as well, too, on the floor. Hair dries underneath. Just a basic sink, things like that as well. But it comes equipped with shampoo, conditioner, and body wash in there, and the pressure of the shower is fantastic. I mean, Dave, he loves the pressure. He loves good pressure, right, babe? Oh yeah, no, that's good. You love good pressure? I do, of course. <laughs> and of course, this floor is co-ed, but there's other floors that are just female and male. Right, that's what I was mentioning before in the bathrooms. Yeah, like on the do. seventh floor is actually a women's floor, and I think some of the other ones are, um, the only one I saw that's not a woman's floor was everything else. Seventh floor looked like it was co-ed. I mean, uh, women only. Welcome to our little cozy neck of the woods here at the Millennial. Now, Dave and I have rooms that are slightly, well, actually very opposite to each other. He's on one side, I'm on the other. I was sure at first how I feel about this place because do you really get the privacy you need? Like, yes, you do. The moment you're in your own little area, the beds are so soft, you guys, and so comfortable. And you can have it in a couch position. Ah. And just, I have so many plug options. As you can see, I'm kind of geared up and charging everything over here. But I also have this little sort of older iPhone style that they've used for a control panel that controls both your lights, which I'm not gonna brighten up just yet. I'll show you that in some B-roll. <laughs> And your bed actually can roll like a couch or it can roll flat like when you're ready for beddy by time. I'll just give you a sample. Oh, here it goes. Oh, here it goes. We're rolling. Oh, we're going down. Oh, we're real. Oh, wait. We're, oh, we're really. Oh, hold on a second. I'm not sure this pill's in the right position. <laughs> it's really going down. And yeah, just like that, you're in sleepy time formation. And I'll, I'll bring that right back on up. Now, one of the cool features about this as the bed is rolling up, I'll tell you, is you can set an alarm for this puppy. You can set a morning alarm. And so it's not a typical alarm that rings to wake up you and as well as everybody here because you're only guarded by a sheet projection screen like sheet. But I'll tell you, it actually actually makes, lifts the bed up from sleep position and the lights go on. So if that doesn't wake you up, then you had one heck of a night <laughs> drinking some sake on the town in Tokyo. That doesn't get you up, but it's amazing. So cozy, extra storage up here. And underneath the beds, you guys, no joke, you saw that storage. The storage is endless. We have on Dave's side, let me just show you. It might look a little messy, but hey, you know what? That's how we Oh yeah, it's messy all right. It's Dave's side. Oh, it's Dave's side. <laughs> Here's uh -oh. your story. Look at that, huh? And it goes back to having it goes an back extra even bag more. in yeah. the back. So 
there's plenty of storage. And if you want to know about your anything personal belongings you need to keep safe, well, there's an actual safe right under this bed here. That's a safe right there. It's your own personal safe that you can put your own personal code in. And so you can stop your things like identification cards, cash, lenses, things like that, whatever you're bringing to help you feel safe. Not to mention, they have 24 surveillance. So another nice perk that comes with your room is this little bag of essentials. So they give you cozy little slippers, light. I'm gonna actually put those on right now. Just a couple of them. My cozy slippers. Mm. And then in this bag, you get a washcloth and a towel. I've already used the towel since we've been here for a couple nights already. And in there, you get some uh, tissues, like a little Q-tips and toothpaste and toothbrush. So those are nice little essentials. If you don't have those essentials, well, they provide those for you, which is definitely a nice little perk to have with this capsule hotel. All right, y'all. You know what, it is getting really warm. That's one thing I will say is it's a bit warm in these capsules, which is nice to have that fan. So I'm gonna get cozy since I put my cozy slippers on. I'm gonna get some cozy clothes on, so I'll see you later. We'll see you, bye-bye, just a little bit, just a little bit. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh. Okay, it's a little tight, but a little uncomfortable, hold on. Okay, I'll see you, okay, bye. I'm gonna watch a movie. And if you are ever here at Millennium, well, guess what? You'll find two locations where we are. We're on this map right here. This is Boston. They kind of marked it here. So it's turned up well. And Las Vegas, right there. So take a picture. Tag us in it. We'd love to see it if you ever come out to the Millennial here in uh, Shibuya, Japan. Yeah. Woo! Well, that wraps up our little cute stay here in Tokyo in the Shibuya Prefect. I have to say, staying here at the Millennial, it was it was okay. It was uh, took a little getting used to. It definitely took some getting used to. It's a hostile type environment where things are shared. But all in all, it worked out really well for us. I, I liked it. Yeah, I yeah. think after the first beer o'clock session, uh, we made some oh, new friends. Oh, our taxi's and here. And now our taxi's here. So you know what? It is done. Bye-bye with the capsule life. And time to pick up our new RV. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to move in. Let's go.